this global era, a worldwide problem has shaken the nations of the earth. Despite the attempts of the press to undermine the truth of it, the overwhelming evidence from the scientific community calls for a rapid change in the way we live our lives. The problem I speak of is global warming. There's a lot of controversy surrounding the issue of global warming, whether it's really happening and whether it's caused by us. I have two charts to address this controversy. As you can see here, the vast majority of the most active and recent published scientists on the subject of global warming agree that it is largely caused by humans. This chart indicates the global temperatures in relation to the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere. As you can see, they correlate almost exactly in the later parts. As the global heat rises to temperatures never seen before, so does the carbon dioxide concentration. I'm sure you've all seen this before, but here's the greenhouse um, gas reaction just for review. Um, essentially, UV rays from the sun um, enter the Earth's atmosphere and bounce off in the form of infrared rays. But greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, prevent them from leaving the atmosphere and heat up the Earth. While this is normally good when there's um, too high concentrations of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, it can be detrimental to Earth society. Um, so let's take a look at what's putting the CO2 in the atmosphere. Here we have a picture of forests of America as they used to be. This is what they look like now. And still, deforestation continues to take place. Um, deforestation involves the destruction of a carbon sink, which is something that stores carbon, and replacing it with a carbon source, which contributes to greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere. Um, so what is driving this deforestation that is so detri detrimental to our Earth? Um, as you can see here, more than half of the land in America, in the United States, is, convert is being converted into agricultural or grazing land, essentially food production. As the population of the Earth grows, grows ever larger, we'll need more and more food to provide for them. And so we'll need more and more land. But um, this leads to deforestation, and so it's not something that we should be encouraging. Instead, we should find a way to, to make agriculture more efficient um, instead of taking up land. So um, the answer lies in a renewable source of energy, solar power, that has a higher potential energy production than all other power sources combined. Um, solar power can also be used for a wide variety of applications. Um, it can power essentially anything that could be powered by other fuel sources. The advantages are um, obvious, but in what way does this improve the efficiency of agriculture? Um, agriculture is what brought human society out of our primitive stage. It's, we create, it's what created our communities. Um, but now we have extended it too far and the forces of America are suffering. Solar power is by nature an energy source. If we created a wide array of solar power on land that was previously only grazing land, or an empty land on a farm plot, then we would be able to power multiple things on the farm, including livestock heaters, irrigation pumps, etc. Um, but there's one thing that could potentially double agricultural production. Naturally, crops are limited to growing only during the day with the nutrients that they are provided. We've already managed to bend that with genetically modified organisms, and fertilizers, which abolish the natural limits of growth and pest damage. Um, but if we applied solar power, batteries, and LED lights, we would be able to grow plants during the day and the night, which could potentially double um, agricultural production. The advantages of this are ever-present. We have the obvious one of fewer CO2 emissions from the replacement of oil appliances with solar appliances. There's also fewer infrared rays being reflected back into the atmosphere because the UV rays are instead absorbed by the solar panels. There's increased crop production because the, crop, the crops are doubled in their growth. And there's also increased economic benefits. A farmer can potentially save $1,000 a year um, if he instead uses solar power just because of energy bills. Um, and with the way the energy costs are inflating, this is, ever, this is always going to increase. Um, solar panels can revolutionize agriculture as we know it. Thank you for your time.